What's going on everybody? This is Greg back with the Super 6 Charger and just want to do a little quick video today uh, about the five reasons why I ripped my V6 Chargers right there behind me. So uh, it's a popular subject. I just kind of want to get my, uh, my own opinion on why I ripped my own V6. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first top of the line reason why I ripped my V6 was because of the power. The power is amazing. Uh, it totally transforms this, this car into just a totally different beast. Uh, you know, when I want to use it for daily driving or commuting or whatever, it drives, you know, you can drive it docile and uh, drives normally and quiet. But, you know, when I step on that power, when I need that power, it's there. Um, and it is just simply amazing, just a totally different beast. So that's got to be the number one reason why I did it uh, is because of the power. And second has to be the gas and insurance. Uh, even though I'm getting um, V8 and SRT power, um, I'm still paying the same gas and insurance cost as a V6, uh, which to me was a no-brainer. Um, this car, um, I, I loved it when I bought it. So, um, you know, if I would have upgraded, then I wouldn't be getting those perks of gas, uh, V6 gas and insurance. So. To me, that was a, uh, another reason why I wanted to do it is because I could still get uh, V6 gas and insurance costs. Uh, it was getting um, about maybe, I think, 19 city, 30 highway, you know, stock. And even with the rip kit on it now, uh, it's boosted it up to an extra uh, 2 to 3 miles per gallon. So now I'm getting about 22, 23 miles per gallon. Uh, even with the rib kit on it, providing that I keep my foot out of it most of the time, which is really hard to do sometimes. But um, when I checked, I was getting, you know, at least two to three more miles per gallon, even with the rib kit. So uh, that was pretty much a no-brainer, uh, getting re making re good, really good uh, insurance uh, payments, uh, you know, that are really low. And like I said, you know, the gas is good. Even though I'm doing premium now, you know, with the rib kit, you have to use... Um, uh, premium gas in it so um and it's it's been no problem you know the last three times i filled up you know it was really no different uh you know as far as how long the gas lasts than you know the 87 octane so you know that the car is benefiting from the premium now and you're still getting really good gas mileage in it so that was the second reason why i did it uh and then number three uh is budget you know, I was able to stay within my budget um, by ripping my V6. Uh, like I said before in one of my other videos, I only paid 17 k for this car. I still was able to stay within my budget of uh, staying under 26, you know, 25, 26,000, you know, for the car that I wanted. So, you know, still came in way on the budget, even with the rip kit and some of the uh, performance mods, the other uh, exterior performance mods on it. So. Uh, that was uh, pretty much, you know, a really good deal uh, to rip it, to keep this car and rip it. So, uh, you know, still within my budget, man, it's just a no-brainer. Uh, and then fourth was because it's different. You know, anybody can go out and just, uh, you know, trade up, you know, to a bigger engine. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's different, you know, doing the V6, putting the rip kit on it. Uh, when people see my car and look at it, you know, they think it's a, I mean, really, they don't know what to think about it. You know, it's just, um, you know, just looks like a V6 steel. I even left the uh, the stock wheels on it. So, you know, when people see my car, it's like, mm, I see, you know, this it's a V6, but, you know, it has this or has that on it. So it really, really transformed the car, um, you know, just into a totally different car. Um, you know, now having that power and you know people see it they don't know what to think but they find out really soon you know if i step on it and it's just really really different you know which is another reason why i want to do it because people can easily point out you know uh, a scat pack or a 392 you know when they look at my badges you know i have badges on it i guess i can't show you uh but uh, i have badges on it you know one of the badges is a mopar badge and then i put the numbers on it that said three nine uh, that said 292 on it so i mean it's really really different you know uh, of keeping this car and just ripping it so i like that about it uh and then the next reason was 
um, the fifth and final reason was because it sets me apart. You know, it sets me further apart from, you know, my everyday driving, my everyday commuting trip. You know, now this car is actually, I know it's faster than at least 90% of the cars that I drive with every day. So that is a really good feeling. You know, I'm more confident. I know if, if any one of those cars, if I really wanted to, I could, you know, I could blow them out. So I really like that feeling. You know, it gives me more confidence. Before I ripped this car, it was starting to become, you know, I was starting to blend in as far as performance was going. So there was actually a lot of cars that were comparable in uh, performance as far as the, uh, you know, the regular V6. You know, you had your Impalas, you know, you got to, you know, even some of the, the, the Japanese models, the Camrys. Now, you know, uh, like I said, your Impalas, your... Um, Let's see what else you know your v6 camaros uh you know and, and v6 and they even put in four cylinders and mustangs that were comparable in power uh but you know but having this thing ripped you know really set me further apart uh from the rest of the game so uh now in those 10 percent you're talking about your you know your srts you know hellcats your corvettes your chevy camaro ss's uh your 5.0 mustangs you know you're talking about cars in that 10 percent but like I said, a lot of the cars that you can mute that you can mute with, you know, are really going to be, you know, in that ninety percent that you can you can pretty much outrun anything, anything. So um, I really like that, you know, being set apart. So those were the top five reasons why I ripped my V6. Um, you know, if you have a V6 charger, this is a really good option um, to go ahead and. And, and try to look into ripping it, you will still come out, you know, as far as, you know, if you're on a budget, you know, you still come out, you know, uh, pretty good up underneath your, uh, in, within your budget. So I think it's a good option, you know, if you want to look into that, uh, getting more power, you know, if you want more power out of your V6, that's a good way to go. Uh, or, you know, if you have a, a budget situation where, you know, it would allow you to go ahead and, and uh, trade up, then by all means do it. But, you know, if you're in my situation, like I said, I had a tight, real tight budget and uh, trading up was just really not an option for me. So this was the best option. I love that it worked out. I love the car. I'm still getting some of those lights on on the dash. I got a, a, um, a airbag light and a whoops and I'm getting a uh, steering wheel light. So I'm still in touch with uh, with my shop. I had it over there the other day. Uh, he put the machine on it, still couldn't figure out, you know, why that may be happening. He's still back and forth with ripping HP tuners to try to get that worked out for me, get those codes worked out. But if anybody has an idea of, of what that might be, if you think maybe a taser can read, you know, some of that stuff, I don't, I don't know. But uh, if you have any idea about how I can get that cleared up about what's going on, uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll see if I can get that taken care of. So I'm still in contact with them, with my shop. I'm supposed to take it back by there uh, one day next week, you know, and he's going to look at it again. But as far as, as far as, you know, performance and driving, you know, it's, 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 it's doing really well. It's, it's driving. Nothing's wrong with it. We just got to get those lights off the dash. So uh, at first he thought it was a initial, um, initialization of the computer you know once you put the computer computer in you know you have to initialize it he thought that was it he went back through that you know everything panned out good uh but he just can't figure out how to get those lights off so if you have an idea about that let me know in the comments but anyway guys that's it those are my top five reasons uh, why i ripped my v6 i'm loving it um if you have any questions about it just please ask me and i'll be glad to answer appreciate it, everybody thank you and I'll get at you later.